Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's wild, wild, wow! What's the weirdest animal you can think of, Alfie? Hmm, I know, a platypus. It has the beak and feet of a duck, the body and fur of an otter, and it has the tail of a beaver. Good choice, but guess what? I've just discovered an animal that's even stranger. Yeah? It's called a naked mole rat. Hmm. I've never heard of a naked mole rat. What does it look like? Well, it's not a mole and it's not a rat. It's unlike any other animal in the world. I'd love to see it. Then let's take a look at it. I'm sure you'd love to see it too. Come on, everyone. Time to take a look through the creature scope. Okay, Alfie, tell us what you see. Right. Wow. These animals look like little pink sausages with heads. They do. They have no fur on their bodies because they spend their lives underground, so they never get sunburned. Hey, look at how their teeth are outside their faces. Weird, huh? They can move each tooth on its own, just like they're using chopsticks. That's clever. It means they can use their teeth to burrow into the earth without getting any dirt in their mouths. What about their eyes? They have eyes, but they can hardly see at all. They rely on their sense of smell to tell them what's around. These tunnels they dig look pretty long. They build whole networks of tunnels. Some tunnels are as long as 30 football fields. Wild, wild, whoa! They even build rooms, like bedrooms and toilets, and a special room like this where the queen gives birth to her babies. Making more rats have a queen? Yes just like the queen bee in a beehive. There's one queen whose job is to have babies, while all the other naked mole rats are workers or soldiers. Why do they need soldiers? Birds and snakes like to eat naked mole rats, so the soldiers use their teeth to try and fight them at the entrance to the tunnels. Wild. You're right, Allie. Naked mole rats are very strange creatures and fascinating. Can we learn some more about them? Absolutely, Alfie. Come on, everyone. Time to hop aboard the Zippy Zoomer. Ready, everybody? Let's wow, wow, wow. Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals, adventures abound. Learning, exploring, let's seize the day. Come on, let's play. Here we are, back at the Singapore Zoo. And look, Allie, a statue of a naked mole rat. Great! Let's go exploring. Hi, I'm Allie, and this is Alfie. Hi, my name is Sheik, and I happen to be one of the keepers here looking after the naked mole rats. Oh. Would you like to come over and see our colony? Sure, of course. <laughs> If you look here, we actually have a big colony. We have a total of 42 naked mole rats here. Right now, if you can see, they are resting. Naked mole rats like to huddle together. See, these guys are rodents, but where they are found, they do not have a water source. So they get the water from the food that they eat. Anything that's like root veg, like your carrots, or even yam, sweet potato. So naked mole rats don't drink water. They get it from their food. If you're interested, you can actually just slowly just move back and I can actually show you what these guys are doing. These guys are really excellent diggers. They dig really fast and in the wall, their tunnels and burrows can go up to 15 meters deep down. Wow. These guys are spread all over this whole tunnel. And these tunnels are all interlinked. 
and then they display and they show us what they can do. So the burrows are like the naked mole rat's home with so many different rooms. What we're trying to let people know is this species that is not very common for people to understand, that they are amazing. In fact, they actually have one of the longest lifespan among the rat family itself. And what are they capable of? Primarily, the naked mole rats are actually found in Africa, Kenya, Somalia. So people don't get to venture often to actually see how they look like. These guys are underground dwellers. They dig their burrows all the way down. So even if you're walking at the top, it's almost impossible for you to see them or them coming up because the moment they pick up slight vibrations, they will all just go back down. Sheikh, thanks for telling us about these naked mole rats. It was my pleasure. I hope you guys learned something new about them and please do share them with your friends. Bye. Bye. We're all a little weird. Not everyone knows who we are. We're not all that bizarre. Come play with us. We promise to be the best you've got. We're all a little special. Love us for who we are. Wrinkly and wriggly is the naked mole rat. Some think that they're not pretty, but they're pretty fab, in fact. Come play with us, we promise to be the best you've got. We're all a little special. Love us for who we are. Come play with us. Come play with us. Tiny and furry is the little tar's ear. Some think their eyes are too huge. They see so well like that. Come play with us, we promise to be the best you've got. We're all a little special. Love us for who we are. Cruising and hunting goes the hammerhead shark. Their heads are big and flattened, unlike some other sharks. Come play with us, we promise to be the best you've got. We're all a little special, love us for who we are. Come play with us, we promise to be the best you've got. We're all a little special, love us for who we are. Okay guys, get those brains working because it's time to guess which animal I am. I have a long, thin body that's slippery and slimy. I have a large mouth with sharp teeth that I use to chew my food. I live in the water, in oceans, rivers, and lakes. Have you guessed which animal I am? If you said I'm an eel, then you're right! Thanks for hanging out with us today. We had a really great time. But before we go, don't forget, we always say... It's wild, wild, wild! It's wild, wild, wild!